How's it going, everyone? Got a plethora of PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 game updates to go over in this video. Ton of stuff. Finally got the release date for Atomic Heart, and it is coming out very soon, but my god, is February gonna absolutely drain the hearts and souls of gamers' wallets to the ground? We'll talk about that. PlayStation VR 2 also dropping uh, early next year. We'll talk all about that. If you want that, yeah, your wallet is gonna take a beating for that one. And got a bit of an update on Destroy All Humans Clone Carnage. Kinda going free to play, not really, but almost. We'll go that uh, go over that at the end of this video. But first of all, Atomic Heart drops on February 21st, 2023. We finally got the update for the game. In addition to the standard edition, a premium edition will also be available. That'll include the base game, the season pass, two exclusive weapon skins, and a digital art book. The overview of the game from Focus Entertainment notes, Welcome to a utopian wonder, world of wonders and perfection in which humans live in harmony with their loyal and fervent robots. Well, that's how it used to be with the launch of the latest robot control system mere days away. Only a tragic accident or a global conspiracy could disrupt it. The unstoppable course of technology along with the secret experiments have brought rise to mutant creations, terrifying machines, and superpowered robots all suddenly rebelling against their creators. Only you can stop them and find out what lies behind the idealized world. Using the combat abilities granted by your experimental power glove, your arsenal of blades and cutting edge weaponry, fight for your life in explosive and frenetic encounters, adapt your fighting style to each unique opponent, combine your skills and resources, use the environment and upgrade your equipment to overcome challenges and eradicate the evil. Key features note a utopian world both mad and sublime, visceral, spectacular, and unforgiving combat, blast giant machines and mutants using your multiple skills and advanced weapons, and upgrade your arsenal and equipment. The new trailer includes uh, the pre-orders and everything like that. The game looks like an over-the-top shooter and something that is totally right up my alley. Like I said, February 21st, uh, February is just disgustingly packed for new game releases. You're talking Hogwarts Legacy, Wild Hearts, Atomic Heart, and that's just off the top of my head. There's definitely more stuff that I'm totally just blanking out on right now. And Dead Space Remake is at the end of January, so... Uh, yeah, like, if you were one of those people, like, I remember talking about it over the summer, where it was pretty quiet for game releases, and then, like, I just kept looking at the calendar, and I'm like, man, if, even if a couple games get delayed, the, these wallets are gonna take an absolute whooping, uh, early 2023, and obviously in the fall, but falls to be expected. Now, Generally speaking, as I've mentioned before, um, that early portion of every year, like the first three to five months, is usually pretty packed. Um, you know, February of this year was the monster month with, uh, what's it called, Horizon Forbidden West, Elden Ring, and Dying Light 2. So, February of next year, Atomic Heart, Hogwarts Legacy, Wild Hearts. I mean, that's a pretty loaded lineup uh, while I'm thinking about it right now. And again, that's just off the top of my head. Uh, Dead Space and Forspoken are going to be a little bit ahead of that, but uh, a lot of exciting games ahead. Atomic Heart, by the way, it will be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC via Steam. It will also be available via Xbox Game Pass, so another major coup for uh, Microsoft in terms of offering a big title right out the gate on Xbox Game Pass. That's a pretty notable addition to that. I mean, getting games like Playtale Requiem, Atomic Heart, like, that's pretty notable, so... Yeah, value is definitely on the Xbox side. Speaking of value, PlayStation VR 2, baby. We got the release date, February 22nd of 2023. So once again, like February, absolutely disgustingly packed. 550 US dollars. Pre-orders will open in November and PlayStation Network users can register for an invitation to pre-order. Uh, I'll leave a link to Gamatsu where they have the rundown there. A Horizon Call of the Mountain Bundle will also be available at $600 and that'll include a PlayStation Store voucher code for Horizon Call of the Mountain. Kind of a bummer, it's not a physical copy, but uh, given that, you know, a lot of people have digital consoles, that kind of makes sense. The PlayStation VR 2 Suns controller charging station can be purchased for $49.99. More than 20 PlayStation VR 2 titles will be available at launch. The following 11 titles were also announced after the fall. Uh, Cities VR Enhanced Edition, uh, Cosmonius High, we have Crossfire Sierra Squad, we have the Dark Pictures Switchback VR, Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue, Jurassic World Aftermath Collection, The Light Brigade, Pistol Whip, which is awesome, uh, Tentacular, and then we have Zenith of the Last City, which I think is going to be a pretty notable addition as well. So, loaded lineup looks to be right out the gate. Uh, again, February, uh, if you're the kind of person that's buying everything, 
Yeah, uh, pack a lunch, brother, because that's gonna be a lot to get into. Thankfully, Horizon Call of the Mountain is gonna be a launch title, so you do have a major game right off the gate for launch, and, you know, credit to Sony for actually staying committed to VR, because I've seen the song and dance before with Sony, where they get, you know, very heavy into a peripheral or a platform, and then it just kind of dissipates into thin air, uh, PlayStation Move, PlayStation Vita, etc., etc., but in the case of, uh, VR2... It looks like they're going to be committed right out the gate. 550 US dollars is pretty pricey, but, uh, you know, this is targeting a specific person, you know, the person that already has a PlayStation 5, and if you're buying the VR2 headset right out the gate, you're probably, you know, you're probably the kind of person that has disposable income and you're going to buy it regardless. Um, that's that's been like Sony's MO that I've noticed recently where they're just pricing things as highly as they can and then they're gonna see our consumers gonna bite on that price point like last of us $70 it seemed like consumers bought enough where that was a big success for them uh, you know they're releasing games on PC at premium price points in the case of spider-man that did really well um, you know so take it for what it is I probably won't be getting one at launch but uh you know a lot can change in a couple months and given that i do cover you know video games on the channel i probably will end up getting one at launch just because you know i'm a whale like that but nonetheless um six hundred dollars for the horizon bundle uh yeah take that for what you will let me know your guys thoughts on the price point because obviously that's you know it's a it's a premium vr headset so obviously it's gonna be pretty expensive but Man, 600 bucks is nothing to, you know, nothing to take lightly, so take it for what you will. Lastly, I do want to note, Destroy All Humans Clone Carnage is going free-to-play on Xbox One and PC. PlayStation 4, on the other hand, it will be a penny, so take that for what you will as well. The game first launched on May 31st for $12.99. It was also free for users who pre-ordered Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobe, so now it's going free for everyone, essentially, or a penny on PlayStation 4. Wreck Havoc and Clone Carnage, the standalone downloadable content, comes with four modes, six maps, and up to four-player multiplayer split-screen lets you double the damage in local two-player multiplayer, unleash your wild side in Rampage, Armageddon Race, and Abduction modes, experience the evil side of a classic alien invasion story, destroy humans using your side powers and unique weaponry, uh, body snatch a pathetic human and infiltrate their fragile democracy obliterate their backward architecture with your flying saucer compete and destruct with up to four human or alien life forms online cause double the destruction with local two-player multiplayer on a split screen and challenge your friends and foes alike in four game modes over six different maps all skins from the destroy all humans release in 2020 are included as well so that is going free to play given it's a multiplayer focused title and the community kind of fell apart or you know there's not a lot of active players going free to play is probably the right decision with this one but that is gonna do it for me again atomic heart dropping february 21st of 2023 super excited for that will be available on game pass if you have an xbox or pc otherwise playstation 4 uh playstation 5 will be dropping in february february 22nd playstation vr 2 550 us dollars 600 dollars for the horizon call of the mountain bundle that'll include a digital voucher code and destroy all humans clone carnage goes free to play or a penny on playstation 4 that's gonna do it for me let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads. And we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.